What up traders, what up investors, Ken here from Dyslexic Investor and let's jump on the choo-choo train, the big old hype train, choo-choo, and let's just run up these prices here. <laughs> just joking aside, looking here at Apple and Tesla really, again with their pretty enormous uh, amount of the splits of their stocks coming out, really driving up the price, creating that FOMO that like we just talked about on our previous live stream last yesterday and the Sunday lock stock live stream. Projecting to look at potentially the 528 target for Apple. Um, we're hitting 515 today, having pulling back quite a bit here, kind of in the halfway point. Still up nearly six bucks here currently, and a little bit over half a percent. That's still, again, pretty large move in the market. You're seeing that really uh, a lot of volume coming in still. That momentum on the TTM squeeze, super strong. Same with the RSI and the volumes on Oscillator. So I think it still has some potential leg and uh, that really that FOMO trade to continue potentially even towards the end of the day and potentially in tomorrow to hit that 520-ish uh, target potentially. Uh, that being said, again, I'm gonna, not going to touch it with a 10-foot pole because this is just a little bit too much of a, a chasing mentality uh, trading style that I'm not really a big fan of. Um, flipping over to the weekly side of Apple here. Um, Tim Cook and company have done very well here, especially on the weekly side. If you're a little bit of a longer term investor, you're really looking on the weekly side. It's been holding that five and eight moving averages for quite some time. So you're asking like, hey, Ken, what, when can I get in? When should I buy Apple? Um, that being said, there are potential opportunities to buy this. Um, I normally don't like to chase things. Yes, it's a great stock. It's a great company. They are best of the best. That being said, uh, $441 would be a potential starting position if you're longer term. If you're going to do a little bit more intraday or short term trading, you kind of want to be looking to around $450 or anyone to basically uh, around the $475 to $450 range. I know that's very wide, but that is a potential starter position if we get a chance to come back down. As of the huge run up that we're currently coming up here, me and the principles and the rules that I have for my trading account, I cannot chase this. Even though we played this just a little bit um, into last week, it's, it's just run up way too much. Um, the RSI on the daily side's overbought. Same with the RSI on the weekly side. These RSI readings can stay very highly elevated for some time, so that doesn't mean it's going to come crashing down anytime soon. That being said, just be mindful of that. Looking again. Anything can happen in the market. We can get a pullback. You have to be patient, sit on the hands, and just kind of wait to see this one play out. Speaking of sitting in your hands and not doing anything, just like you do in a Tesla car, a car driving on the highway, looking here at Tesla. Of course, Tesla also has a stock split uh, coming into fruition at the end of the month. This thing has run up substantially as well. Since that split really has basically pulled a huge move, basically this swing high, this, this swing low, uh, gaining nearly $743 or 53% uh, in a matter of two weeks on Tesla with this huge uh, hype train really running this up on the overall FOMO of Elon, Tesla, and the overall market. F full disclosure, we own uh, Tesla long term, much longer term uh, positions with stock. Uh, this is, uh, this is Fantastic. I love this movement, but I think it's a little bit somewhat unrealistic in the sense of just again that FOMO mentality We're not seeing that crazy amount of volume like we saw with Apple I'm just that constantly run up, but we are still trading on that very much uh, FOMO uh, High momentum driven strategy between the five and eight moving average on the daily side Looking for that potential again. My next initial price target for Tesla is around 2500 I know that seems insane, but that is something that it could reach uh, without a doubt and we'll see how the split really takes place again you're not getting free money once the split happens just be mindful of that and uh, but some for some reason <sighs> just that rumor of that free money comes in I'm just gonna be a little bit of worrisome and just kind of be throw the caution flag out and kind of give uh, people the chance of potentially this pulling back I'm looking for a pullback if it does want to decide to come back around 1700 Again, we have to readjust those numbers once the split comes out and we get the more refined numbers um, in the sense of it could be two, three hundred dollar uh, price difference in once that comes into fruition with those new prices. Um, on the weekly side with Tesla, this thing has just literally been a SpaceX rocket ship and just going out of orbit here. 
really holding that five and eight moving averages on the weekly side and just continue grinding higher. Um, really looking for uh, this momentum to continue. But again, same as well, we're on that RSI overbought here on the weekly side. This has happened before. This is basically what happened last October once we had that basically a record breaker quarter of model three sales um, and then just literally just took off and just ran up and like a beautiful stairway to heaven here basically could see that pattern come into fruition here basically looking for that twenty five hundred dollar strike price uh, or target to come into play and potentially looking for some uh, recalibration or a potential trend change once this limit gets hit because this is a pretty significant level with the stock that being said the next price over that is around 3200 I, I know that we're not going to talk about that quite yet but again anything can happen in the market potentially short-term pullback if you're a much for a longer dated investor you're really looking for a pullback potentially all the way down to 1400 1477 um, on the weekly side on the daily side depending on how you're swinging this or trading it uh, Potentially looking for support basically around 1873 or the 8 EMA and then coming back down to the 21 EMA on the daily side So around 1680 for support to the downside there That's gonna be your first level one and level two uh, support But really coming in really strong support around the 1500 to 1450 price target there really strong to the downside Again, guys, I hope this was helpful. I hope you guys learned something. If you did, please slap and destroy that like button. Greatly appreciate it. If you're interested in joining the Discord, link down in the description. If you want to help support the channel, Patreon, uh, YouTube uh, join button down there as well. Thank you, guys, and catch you guys on the flip side. Peace.